Hello and welcome to this video about a cool little hidden feature in Notion, variables. Before we jump in, just a quick reminder that my first two videos for the complete Notion course on YouTube are already live. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Also, if you use Notion and want to become a Notion master, then you're definitely going to love this channel. Hit subscribe if you haven't to, so that you never miss one of these cool uh, hidden features. And now, let's learn about the unofficial way to get variables in Notion. All right, so what exactly are variables in Notion? Well, put simply, variables in Notion are just a way to edit information quickly across your workspace. Ideally, in a perfect world, Notion would already support variables and we could use them in pages, in databases, and in particular in uh, formulas within properties. But as of now, Notion doesn't support them. But with this workaround, we are able to get at least 80% of the benefits. I'll walk you through uh, some of my favorite use cases in a moment, but first let's take a look exactly how this method works and um, what the unique thing about uh, it is. Because you already know one way to edit information uh, across your workspace in several places, and that's a sync block. So if I type slash and get a sync block, I can, uh, you know, I get this red thingy and I can type inside, this is content that can be reused across the workspace. Awesome. So if I can, if I click now, copy and sync, and I go somewhere else in my workspace or on the same page, uh, I can paste it. And if I edit it here now and say, for example, okay, maybe uh, I need to remember, and then I get a to-do list, one thing, another thing, uh, it appears here as well, and I can edit it in either place, and it reflects all changes. So we already have something to do, uh, like to share information and edit it across our workspace. But variables are different than a sync block because a sync block always has to be that, a full block or a collection of several blocks. There's no way to have just like a synced word or a sync part inside, um, which means that we uh, always need to like use the whole structure. I can just like fit something into a different sentence. And we can also not use it, for example, in a title. There's no way to have a synced title across your workspace. But with this variable method, you can. So how does it work? Well, it's fairly simple. All we're going to use is uh, an existing uh, feature in Notion for a totally different purpose. And uh, what we're going to use is the mention function. So if I create um, a sample page uh, and uh, I go anywhere in my workspace and I just type add, I can now search for that uh, sample page and mention it. So let's look for it. Here it is. And now uh, we have just a mention of the page, we can click in it and then it opens it. But the cool thing is uh, this updates. So if I change the title of the page, uh, the mention says now this updates. And because it's a mention, it is in line. So I can type things around it. I can, for example, say, okay, um, well, um, let's, do, let's say this updates uh, and I can have it in a line. So, and now I can say this up, isn't it cool that this updates? And uh, as we can see, obviously uh, it still is inside a sentence. And I can't just have it inside a sentence, I can also have it in the title. So I can say, okay, variables in Notion with, um, and then let's say, uh, isn't, oops, isn't it cool? Um, and then we change this to maybe uh, this feature and we update it in the title. And obviously because uh, Notion's block of Notion's block structure, we can have this as a heading here, we can have, like do anything with it, and it will always update it, which uh, is pretty awesome. There are a lot of use cases that I can think of, and uh, I'm going to walk you now through four use cases before I show you how I would organize the variables in Notion. So um, the first thing that comes to mind uh, of how to use these variables in Notion would be to personalize your Notion workspace or to personalize templates. So if you create templates uh, in uh, for others, then uh, well, uh, there's no way for you to know like who's going to use it. Um, but you might want to address that person throughout the template. So for example, if you uh, build um, I don't know a journaling template and you have this uh, good morning page and you say um, good morning, uh, and let's just uh, take oops this cool <laughs> feature, so our variable that we created, um, and we're going to wave to the person. 
and then we're going to write something else and we say, okay, um, today is a beautiful day to get everything done. And we're going to mention the <laughs> page again. And so far it doesn't make any sense. But uh, once we uh, change this to your name, uh, all of a sudden uh, we have like a, a, a generic uh, greeting. And now when we build a template, we can have as part of the onboarding, we can tell the person, well, uh, please update this your name page to your name. And if you want, you can also uh, pick uh, your favorite emoji or so. Uh, and now uh, all across your template, uh, it will reflect the name. So you instead of like having them, uh, you know, change something in like 10 places, or you uh, not being able to personalize something, you can personalize a template. Or you can personalize your own workspace, right? Uh, you could, uh, if you have uh, used, for example, my statistics method uh, for Notion to get like these cool statistics, you could have a personal assistant that uh, brings them to you and you can name him. And if for whatever reason you want to rename him uh, like three months later, you don't have to change uh, a name in like 50 places. You only have to change it in one place. So that's the first use case, personalization. The second use case would be to create more dynamic nodes in your personal knowledge system. So uh, again, we have our sync blocks here. Uh, and we might use sync blocks to um, remember uh, our evergreen nodes, right? So maybe we've written an evergreen note about, um, I don't know, um, um, what is it? Okay, we, we say, uh, we, we write an, a note, um, my uh, favorite, uh, oh, uh, I need to give a presentation about something on. And now if we want to uh, like uh, change information uh, dynamically, we could say, uh, we could use a variable in here and we can say, okay, add, um, and then like, oops, we, let's create a page first. Let's create our um, date variable. Suck. Go back and uh, I need to give a presentation about something on a date variable. Uh, great. And now maybe I have uh, a different, uh, either sync block or a normal block somewhere else. And uh, I just have a, a list of all my um, obligations. And we can have the date uh, variable. I like maybe dates of all my obligations. You get the gist. And now instead of having to, um, like if I use the same type of information across several uh, sync blocks or across several of my nodes in my personal management systems, I can just say, okay, uh, this should be um, first uh, September and, um, oops, I thought Notion could process this, maybe at tomorrow. Um, and now it updates in several places at once. So I can do that to uh, not just, uh, have like a sync block of information, but like to pick out individual parts of information that I want to uh, update across places. We can use the same thing to create um, better uh, announcements if we work in a team. For example, um, instead of talking about a presentation, we could say, um, okay, um, uh, great news, uh, we already sold, and then we take um, our ad tomorrow. Da, 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 da. Oops, can it come? I don't know. Let's just copy um, the link uh, with this weird double add interaction. Um, that's, uh, we are uh, already sold items. Uh, and now uh, it doesn't have to be a text, right? We can just say, okay, we already sold uh, 66 uh, items. Great. And maybe we need to have um, like all sales, something else, somewhere else, 66 of item. X, Y, Z, and if we need to update now our sales numbers because we have sold more, we can just uh, do this in one place and it updates across the workspace and even better, if you use um, an automation, um, it is really hard with automations as of now and uh, API to um, update individual uh, lines in Notion. It's like, like to, you, you can do it, but you need to then find a specific line and tell it to replace something, but it's very, very easy to change page titles. So you, all you need to do is to change the page title of 67 and tell it, okay, every time you sell something, please increment this by one. And then you have an automatically updated um, statistics uh, throughout your workspace. So that's uh, another uh, super cool uh, way of how to use these variables. 
And now the last thing I want to quickly show you is how I would <laughs> go and organize them. Um, I would not recommend to have them just randomly in pages like this. I would recommend that you create a database for all your variables uh, and that you then um, have the name of the variable and then uh, you have your um, like the purpose also, something like this, um, and that you then um, add all your variables to this database. So now we have our, oops, we have our sales numbers, sales numbers for item x, x, y, z, and we have also um, like the name variable, um, global name variable. And that way you have everything in one table. Again, if you want to, would want to use an automation to update it, this makes it also easier to, to find them through the automation and you don't you lose track of all the variables. So that's it. Uh, again, it would be even cooler if we could use uh, that variable now inside a formula or something like that. But uh, uh, while that isn't possible as of now, we can still use it like this. Oh, one last thing, uh, uh, you can also, of course, use your variables uh, to um, uh, name your, uh, your pages, right? So if you were, for example, to create um, a new template here uh, and daily entry for, oops, Matthias, uh, let's pick it. Um, if you were to create a template like this and then you, you create, you know, 10 entries uh, and after a while you need to, you realize, okay, you want to update the, the name of uh, that uh, page, you can uh, easily do this and it will apply to all the pages that you created, not just the ones going forward, but also backwards, which is again, also otherwise not possible in Notion. Okay, <laughs> now I'm done with that. Uh, curious to hear what other things uh, you can think of for this method. Um, how would you use variables in Notion? Uh, please let me now uh, know below in the comments. Uh, again, I'm still playing with that uh, <laughs> feature and yeah, would love to see how you are using it. Oh, now you know how to get variables in Notion. If you have any questions, Leave a comment, I'll answer every single one of them. Also, you know the drill by now. If you enjoyed this video, it would help me out a lot if you could give it a like. And as always, if you want to learn more awesome Notion tricks, get regular free Notion templates, and are looking for ways to streamline your workflow, then you should definitely follow this channel. See you in the next one.